CBS 6 News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I am Tom Eschen. Redburn Development has secured a $10 million state grant to demolish the central warehouse. It's the biggest step yet in the decades long saga of Albany's eyesore. At one point an Albany icon, but over the years going through ownership change after ownership change, leading the calls to demolish going back to the early 2000s at that. Kathy Hochul announcing the allocation of taxpayer funding today. Also, just the stones throw away, too, announcing a $634 million investment in replacing the Livingston Avenue Bridge. Built in the 1860s, it's at the end of its life. The new structure would have two passenger tracks, increasing speeds for the trains as they go through. It also include a bike path and a pedestrian walkway. Officials say the goal is to connect capital region communities while finally addressing some of the area's biggest obstacles for growth. For so many people who come to the city for the first time and they see that, it's a sign that the community doesn't believe in itself. That era is now over. Instead of nearly $10 million to rehabilitate the central warehouse, on Friday, the state pledging $10 million to take the building down. $3 million more has been allocated, too, by Albany County through federal funds, bringing the total for Redburn Development's demolishment to $13 million right now. We will remove the asbestos. That's about a $6 million number. The building will come down, and then the concrete will be recycled and put back into some useful space in life. Redburn Development Principal Jeff Buell says they'll begin work in the next few weeks. At one point, he said demolishment and land fill costs were too expensive, but that option of recycling the concrete helped open the door with infrastructure funds at the state and federal levels coming in at the right time too. And I'll make sure that my vision's involved because I want to see housing and retail and opportunities for people to just congregate downtown in a brand new facility. So the demolishment of the warehouse is likely to come first here in the spring of next year. That is their goal. Now you look a little bit farther on the distance of that Livingston Ave bridge. That would be the next step, 2028. And of course, we know they're in the planning, the, the talking stages of I-787. This is the next step officials hope can help reinvigorate this area. There's a number of concepts that have been put on the table. We've had a very robust public outreach process. That process is continuing. We'll have another open house in October. Now being able to take down the central warehouse and reimagine what that might look like, the accessibility of Lock 1 from the very beginning of our history, one of the most important parts of the history of this city that has been lost to, to time. Tearing down that warehouse now opens up possibilities for future investment. Construction on the Livingston Ave bridge replacement began today and after the planned central warehouse demolishment in the spring of 2025, Redburn plans to turn the land back over to the county for a dollar. 